Men's Health has given us another How to Train Like a Celebrity to help you get jacked. This time, it is Jonathan Majors showing his intense Creed 3 workout. He's also starring in the upcoming Ant-Man, Quantumania movie, and a lot of others he's been in lately. So let's see if Men's Health is giving us some good advice here or if it's like what I grew up with in the magazines that doesn't really work. What's up, Men's Health? It's Jonathan Majors here. This is the gym. This is how I train. Training and working out are very important to me. I try to challenge myself. First point that's important to note is training is important to him. It's not just something he does apparently for roles, even though it probably helped him to get certain roles, but it's something you enjoy. So find some kind of exercise that you enjoy. It doesn't have to be lifting weights, but enjoy what you're doing and it'll last. So the way we train, Jonathan, we split our muscle groups. We normally do conventionally two muscle groups together. It's very intense, very productive. Very fun. It's very fun, that is true, but it's always beneficial. So it looks like we're going over a back workout here. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite back exercise is, and uh, we'll see what stuff they do here. Okay, so here we go. This is lat pull downs. He's taking the pressure off his back by bending his knees. He's got full extension, full stretch. This is 10 reps, three sets. I don't know if that's including warm-ups. I'm assuming not, so you warm up with what you're doing first, then put on the heavy weight, do three sets of 10. Something to keep in mind is if you're doing that, nothing wrong with three sets of 10, but I would start with the weight, either two ways, start with the weight that's heavier that you can only get 10, and then maybe drop the weight a little bit so you get 10, so you're close to failure each time you hit 10. Or another thing to do is think of 10 as being your lowest number, so say maybe you put on Say he's using 80 pounds for this lat pull down and you get 13 on the first one and then 11 on the second one and then only 10 on the last one, you know, something like that. Don't just stop at 10 is the big thing. Push till you get to failure. We normally do three supersets consisting of 10 to 12 reps. Oh, there you go. Here he said 10 to 12 reps. So probably hitting the top of that 12, 10 to 12 rep range and by the last set only hitting 10 if you're getting to failure or close to failure. Jay, because of his mindset, <laughs> we'll do another 20. <laughs> And that's your 10. That's 10 more! <laughs> and then he'll do 20 more. <laughs> see, that's kind of funny. How I said getting close to failure, he said he might be able to do another 10 more. And you see, he's sitting there laughing as he's doing the set and then stopping. He's probably not really doing a workout here. This is just for the video, but that just goes to show you need to push yourself hard. And then from here, we take off the top, not to show off, but to see how the package is looking. Pretty cut. This exercise is for extreme detail conditioning. Okay, something to be aware of. He said this is for extreme detail and conditioning. Every exercise you do when you're pushing yourself, you're aiming to make your muscles stronger, make them grow. You're not gonna get more detail unless you lose fat. So if you're overweight, you do a bunch of these, it's not gonna make your back defined. It'll make your back bigger because you have more muscle, but you still have the fat there. So you're not gonna get more defined from doing a certain type of movement. It's not like crunches are gonna make your stomach more defined. Doing lat pull downs isn't gonna make your back more defined as opposed to doing rows. You're building certain muscles in your back. You're not gonna see those muscles very well until you lose the fat that's on top of the muscle. And that's from diet. Now we're going straight into the exercise, which is close grip pull-ups. So normally we do three sets, 10 to 12 reps. We go 10 here, because we're going to superset it with leg raises. And hang. Exhale, hold, exhale, we're going into 10 leg raises. This is very intense. Watch the abs here, how much it's working. Yes, excellent. Go five more. Listen, eight to the side for the intercostal. It's really hard to do all this if he's really doing it all back to back, hanging that whole time. Grip strength must be really strong for this. Three, he's exhaling as he's pulling up. Time. If you can perform that, you get abs like that. Not true, okay. Remember, yeah, you will get bigger abs from doing that. Like any other exercise, working your abs, training them hard, training to failure is gonna make them bigger. But if you have fat over top, it's not gonna make them look like his. You have to get the diet down. And this dude is incredibly lean, seeing all his muscle like this. I mean, his abs are huge too. A lot of that's genetics, how your abs are gonna look and all that. But they'll get bigger from exercise, but you won't just be able to see them from doing a ton of crunches, ton of leg raises, oblique twists, all that type of stuff. You have to get the diet down and be at a low enough body fat percentage to see them. Our third and final superset is one arm dumbbell rows. That'll give him his bread and butter, so it's like the foundation of his back, his thickness. 
to shrugs. Dumbbell shrugs for his traps. He's just gonna go up and down. He's gonna hold and down, and that will complete our black workout. Okay. You see how Jack this guy is? One thing they're not talking about here is any supplements he's probably taking. Obviously this is about his intense workout and it's good. I mean, this is good getting everything done, doing some kind of pulling down type of motion, some type of rowing motion. That's what you want to main lift for your workout, getting the width here and getting the thickness pulling this way. And he's got that. And then supersetting that with other things in order to trap some to your abs, all that's good. You know, this is a good workout. If you're pushing yourself to failure, that's what it's all about. But this guy is huge. Keep in mind that diet's one thing to get to a low enough body fat percentage, training hard to make your muscle grow. But this dude's also playing an amateur bodybuilder in an upcoming film. So if you're gonna be looking like a bodybuilder, there's probably other stuff you're taking too that they're not gonna tell you. Of course they can't, none of the Hollywood people do, but I would be willing to bet that this guy is taking some kind of performance enhancing drugs to make him this jack, because he is rather huge. Uh, guys, that's the workout. But yeah, overall, that's a really good workout. I would like to see the other ones, the legs, the chest, and everything he's doing, because I mean, this type of stuff is good, a good intense workout. The big thing is to make sure you're pushing yourself close to failure, because if you just get to 10, and you feel like you could do another six or seven reps, Add more weight, make sure your form's good. You know, if you're doing rows and it's hard, don't be twisting your whole body to get them up. You wanna stay stiff, pull it up, try to squeeze there, let it back down so you really feel it in your lats and not in your biceps. Make sure you're working the right muscles, but push yourself hard. I think this is a good workout. It's as long as you're working hard, you're staying consistent with everything, with your diet, training, all that. It's pretty good. Just remember, you're not gonna look like him just from doing this. I mean, you could maybe get the physique he has after like, six, seven years of hard training if you're new, but don't just see him in a movie, see this on YouTube and be like, oh, I just have to do this, I'm gonna look like him in like six months, not gonna happen. But let me know if you got any questions, what you think, what type of workouts you do, post them down below, whatever you think, and uh, at Camber Fitness, I'll see you guys, wait, on Instagram, at Camber Fitness on Instagram, and I'll see y'all in the next one.